Let go of the pain that's holding you back from the highway of life. The power of healing is right in your hand when you hold the amazing light. I'd like to show you some of the power that we have in this PBM light by showing you the ways that I use it on the horses. I'm going to go through some of our different techniques and some of our different methodologies, how I go about finding the sore spots, how the horses react, so what to do when they're reacting, to interpret that. You know, a lot of times that horse is going to look at you, they're going to, they're going to stop, they're going to blow, they're going to release somehow, and you want to work with them with that. You want to see what they're doing, you want to wait it out, if they are in a spot that they're looking at you or looking at the light and very in tune with it, let them have that moment. So I use the light not like our standard all lights where I usually always have two at one time. Instead, I use the PBM light by itself because we aren't going to work on our acupressure points. We're strictly working on releasing the muscle, getting light into the body, and, and getting that energy to move. And so we can get healing when we do that. She's really sore when she walks, so I know that her front end is tight, her, her top line is tight, her glutes are going to be tight, her hamstrings are going to be tight, she's sore all the way down on her tendons, so I like to take the light, can you hear her breathing different? She says, what are you doing? That happens when you get in a spot that they are particularly interested in. And she's so sore. I mean, just every part about her is so, so sore. And when they're tiny like this, you can, you can take advantage of that. I can get all the way down to her knees. I'm only on setting one. Just wanting to open that up. I'm not in any treatment mode at this point. So we, we also talked about holding the light like this. Okay, that allows me to put my hand on that horse, feel with my fingers as I'm going through, know when I'm on a tight spot. I mean, you can feel how tight that is right through there. So as you put the light on that, you can use your hand as an aid. There, it's a nice release from her. She's licking her lips. And we're just kind of getting started with her. You can always follow up with the all lights, the standard lights, and do your acupoints. We don't do acupoints with the PBM light. Tight, that spot right there. See, now I could find that because my fingers are right there. We're going to open this horse just like we open any bladder meridian. And I'm going to start up here, and I'm just going to start walking. I'm going to come down the muscles. If, if you think about your anatomy and the, where these muscles are, where their attachment points are, as you're coming through, you'll find those lumps, you'll find those holes. And because it doesn't leak, we always peek every once in a while. Yep, it's on. Come down here. He's old, so when I think about the, the struggles that he has, he has arthritis right there. He says, ooh, that's a good spot, Mom. Anytime you get a reaction from them, you just want to watch and see what it's telling you. So I'm going to come down the collar groove, and about halfway down, there's a great myofascial release point right there. So I like to leave the light on that. Even put it on the second setting or the third setting. I'm going to put it on the second setting. Get a little infrared. Anytime I'm using the second and third setting, I keep the light moving so that that infrared doesn't just sit and go into the cells. We have an opportunity to work that into the area. So he says, okay, moving on. I'm gonna go back and put that back down on the first setting. Come down into his pecs. Another myofascial release point right in here. 
Oh, just he's. Can you see that light jiggling? Yep. That is his body. There he's reacting. There's his lips. Oops. He says, wait a minute, that was quick for him. He's very stoic, but he's interested now in knowing what's going on over here. I'm gonna come down his leg. Again, I like to keep my fingers on that. Gives you a secure grip on the, on the light, as well as being able to use your fingers as tools. Now I know he's got a lot of arthritis, so when I get to the knee, I want as much getting into these arthritic knees as I can. I'm just gonna work again. I keep the light moving. Anytime I'm having the infrared settings are on. Come on down here. I'm going to work those joints as well. Again, I still have the Pulse setting on. Now, he has had problems with this foot for years, so I'm going to again do all the coronary band. He's paying attention to us. So he's a much bigger horse than the mini. So you can see how that light still penetrates the hoof all the way around. Get it on that frog, especially if you have any kind of issues with that horse, as far as growth goes. Oh yeah, perfect. So this light will definitely penetrate the hoof wall on the first setting. There's your second setting. And there's your frequency setting. You see what? Okay, I know you don't like to stand that long on your foot. He's paying, he's fully engaged with what we're doing. He's, he's, he's talking to me here. He says, yeah, that's kind of the spot that's sore. And we're gonna come down his hamstrings. So we're down the back side here. In fact, come right down those hamstrings. A lot of horses have hock issues. Again, back down those tendons. Make sure to stay on the tendons. So that's, that's how you would go through the horse the first time on that low light. And then if you had areas that were tight or that you know that there are problems on, then you go back and just work the area with a second setting or third setting. So you can take your time as you go through this. There's, there's, no, <laughs> there's no one way does everything. Your horse is going to give you your guidance. And even the stoic ones eventually give it up. <laughs> <laughs>